Maggie Mae here and today I am outside of Park Vancouver, one of our newest luxury hotels and casinos. Um, I've been gifted with a one night stay and I'm going to make the most of it. So we're going to start off with checking in and then checking out some restaurants and then drinking the night away. So stay tuned for a day at the park. <laughs> I'll be checking into the Douglas Autograph Collection. The hotel is designed to encapsulate nature into urban city life. The name pays homage to the Douglas fir, a tree that lives on the banks of Falls Creek, where the hotel casino overlooks. It is known as one of the tallest trees in the world and is the foundation of our thriving economy. Throughout this video, you'll notice several nods to the nature meets city theme, with many of them making ideal backgrounds for a photo. So along with guiding you through my 24 hour stay at park, I'll also be listing all the photo ops present across the six story building. Our suite for the night was located on the 11th floor. It overlooked BC Place, with the view of the bustling city below. I don't know about you, but the first thing I check out when I visit a hotel is the washroom. Specifically, how much nicer it is than mine. Sadly, there wasn't a tub, but instead a pretty interesting shower. One with a peekaboo window that gave you a look into the bedroom. Or rather, the bedroom into the shower? Our suite was well stocked with goods from local BC producers like the Aesop brand of skin products in the washroom and the bar on the desk that had several bottles of wine and spirits. Most notable from the mini bar was a bottle of small batch Douglas fir gin produced by Yaletown Distilling Company. This is made specifically for the Douglas Hotel and is only available with a one night stay. Or you can get a taste of it from some of the cocktails across their various bars. Our window view gave us a look at our developing city. Several high rises going up and a viaduct that will eventually be going down. After we dropped off our luggage and freshened up a little, we hit the casino floor running. Not to gamble, fortunately, but instead to head to their sports bar, BC Kitchen, located on the casino floor. This is the Bailey's, and then the middle's right here, and then the kitchen. So thank you. I couldn't miss out the opportunity to get a flight of floats. So, started our drinking off with some tipsy milkshakes. Bailey's, Guinness, a scoop of ice cream, and some honey roasted peanuts. I love gorging on appetizers, so when given the chance, I ordered three, starting with some pigs in a blanket, dirty mac and cheese, and some crispy cauliflower. With bellies full, it's time to explore a little bit more of this casino hotel before the lights turn down. At the rooftop garden, you get a one-of-a-kind look at BC Place.
This naturally led us to our next drinking destination, D6 Lounge, located at the lobby of the Douglas. So my favorite part about this hotel is this bookshelf. It seems like no a bookshelf, but no, it's a secret passage. Come on in, check out this beautiful bar. Great for private parties, or just lounging around and being swanky on. Amazing. Great place to celebrate your next milestone birthday for sure. And when you're done, you just seal it back up. And no one's the wiser. Here we enjoyed some cocktails and played a round or two of pool. Welcome to the Douglas, a balanced dialogue of city and nature. Thank you for sharing your passion for creativity. We were so inspired by your words and look forward to seeing the rest of your story unfold. Enjoy your stay. And the Beta 5 chocolate to christen the mood. For dinner, we went to the Victor. The slogan is, to the Victor goes the spoils. And we were definitely gonna spoil ourselves tonight. Sadly, the restaurant was a little dark, so I didn't get much filming done. However, I did take a lot of photos, and these were the dishes that we enjoyed. After dinner, it was back to our hotel room and after a little bit of Netflix, it was time for bed. Yes, we are old people. We sleep early and enjoy lots of sleep. For breakfast, I suggest heading down to Honey Salt on the main floor for some fresh made crepes. There, you can customize it however you want with tons of chocolate, whipped cream, fruit, and candied fillings. Naturally, I had to be just a little bit extra and ask for all of the above. Thus ends our night, day, everything at the Douglas Hotel in Park.
thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you found some inspiration, decide to make this your next vacation. But as always, please hit the subscribe button for some more food fueled fun. Take care. Hotel room by Comfy Band.